Yeah, I mean, I don't have much. Uh, obviously, I'm incredibly proud of my guys. Uh, we lost to a good football team. They did a good job today. Uh, we had our chances that we didn't capitalize on, but uh, it's hats off to Opelousas, their coaching staff. Uh, they won this one, and I uh, look forward to playing them again one day. Hey, Coach, over here. Uh, so I know it's obviously tough to lose, and it's tough to be a good team twice of uh, the season, but just what to say about just getting to this point, first time since 1995, obviously I'm the one to win the state championship, but just overcoming the hump and getting to this position, we have to say about the guys who are being here at this point. Yeah, you know, it's been, uh, we've been building this for a while now, and um, it's incredibly difficult to do. I'm sure anybody who's been here will tell you. Um, like I said, I'm uh, proud of I'm proud of the way the guys have uh, continued to build, and they've you know they've taken with the people, the the guys that have come before them have kind of laid a foundation. These guys have helped build and raise the standard. Uh, we're truly proud of that. But obviously, uh, we want to win the last game. I think every, you know that's everyone's goal. And fell short today, but uh, it doesn't diminish how I feel about my guys. Obviously, but um, there is some work that's left to do. Question. Brent, talk about the play where they went down and was third and, I don't know, three or four. You sat and you got Malibu down on third down and then stopped them on the fourth down and kind of kept y'all in the game when inside their y'all 20. Talk about those two plays. Um, you know, uh, I was just trying to get them off the field. You know, uh, I was just trying to get them off the field. I see. Diesel. What was the difference in the first game and the second game in terms of what their defense did against Charlotte that made it so tough to move the ball consistently? The energy. That was just the energy. That's it. The energy was higher than the first half and second half. We have a question coming in the back. Diesel, I know you told your mom you wanted to win a state championship for the junior season or junior and senior season, but I mean, talk about this effort of this team this year to get you guys back to the state championship. I know it's not the results you want, but just talk about this team and how special they are. The team is very special. I love all of them. I ain't not one person. I don't love them. I love them all the same. We went through the worst time, the best time, you know. Some condition, nobody else nobody was together. But us, it's just going to last for two months. So I want to appreciate you. You know, we've had a great season. I love them all. Coach, just kind of talk about what made things difficult going early on. I know it was a struggle to establish a run at some points, but just what made things so difficult today? Well, I mean, they're, they're a very talented team. We knew that coming in. It was difficult the first time. Um, you know, uh, they're, they're incredibly, uh, you know, talented, uh, both sides of the football. They have great size, obviously, speed. Uh, it just makes it, uh, it makes it hard on anybody. You know, look, they've, they've beat a lot of good football teams this year. Um, you know, we were able to move the ball a little bit better last time we played them. But, um, you know, they're a good football team and they're well coached. They're not going to they're not gonna come in and lay down. We knew that. But, um, I think just, you know, to answer your question without getting into two technical exes or anything like that, but they just uh, they had a good game plan that came back when they came in. And, um, you know, at first we didn't adjust as well as we probably should have, but I think we started to get things going, but we just couldn't capitalize. And we had chances. I think we'll look back on film and know that we had chances. Um, but again, uh, we didn't make the most of it today, and they did, and, and that's how it goes. Although not, not the best result you want, Coach, what can you say about your optimism towards the future, especially with how the team has successful and kind of how they've done going forward? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, it's hard to think about moving forward right now. I'm concerned about the 17 seniors I want to get back and speak to. But uh, look, the, the, the plan was in 2016 was to build this thing into uh, the state championship level program. You know, we're, we we fell short of that today, but we're going to continue to build on it. That's That's been our goal. It's always our goal. That will never not be our goal. Um, I'm incredibly proud of how I'm in, proud of every class that's graduated so far uh, because they've all pushed towards reaching that goal. Uh, this is the closest, we, the closest we've gotten. 
obviously, so uh, I'm, I'm proud of them, but I'm no more proud than I am of uh, the, the guys in the past. Uh, what are we looking for moving forward is what we've been looking for since day one. That's our goal is to win a state championship at the end of the day. We don't care about trophies and we don't like the second place trophies. We don't like district championship trophies. We like, we want one trophy. Uh, we didn't get it today. Um, this one will, when the, the hurt goes away a little bit on this one, the next few hours we'll get started on next year. Question. Coach, apologies if this question has already been asked. Um, Stopping a running back like Deshaun Ford, like how difficult is that to, to game plan for to tell your team to tackle differently and all those things like that? How hard is it with the type of back that he is? Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a really good high school back. Um, so is so is the the other back, and so is the quarterback. Uh, played a lot of good running backs this year. Um, Ford's uh, one of one of them, and he's certainly good. I'm sure he'll play at the next level. I trust our guys. Uh, I trust that our guys attacked them last time. I trust them attacked them this time. I trust them attacked them again next year. Um, I like our guys. I like the matchup. We just uh, we didn't take advantage of the stuff they won today. Hats off to them. That's a you know, congratulations to them. They did a good job. Question in the front. For the players, uh, this game, the first half was kind of eerily similar from the regular season. Uh, you guys went down a couple scores at halftime back in October. You were down two scores today. Talk about just the, the message between yourselves, uh, just in the locker room at halftime, just to make sure you came out and just stayed locked in. And, and just like you mentioned earlier, just make sure you kind of pick that energy up. That's really, that's all we said. We went with this black game like this, we had games first with this, and we came back home. But we just fell short this time. Um, our role model is just playing hard throughout the whole four quarters, even if we're down, no matter what score it is. We still go play every drive like it's 0 0, and we just go come out and just play hard. Question. Coach, how much more complicated is it in a state final like this to play a team that you played already in your district that knows you? Uh, how did that complicate preparation? I, you know, I don't know about what Jimmy would say, but it, it wasn't much different. We treated it like any other. Obviously, you have something to go back and look on, but uh, I, I didn't find it more complicated or less complicated. I just, uh, it was preparing for a really good football team. I don't buy into the it's hard to beat a good team twice thing. I, I think that's just something people say because they heard it years ago. Look, I feel like it's hard to beat us once. I felt like that all season. Um, look, they're, they're, they are what they are. They're, they're a good football team. We're a good football team. You know, uh, we won the last one. They got the one that counted today. Uh, they did a good job. And uh, I'm sure they're, you know, they're, they're good coaching staff. They're a good football team. And I'm expecting to have more battles with them in the future. Diesel, Coach mentioned uh, the senior class, but you, you'll be back next season. What do you take from this experience? I take a lot. I take a lot of pain. I take a lot of, you know, lack in that practice. That, you know, every time we see, like, practicing, every time we practice, man, I don't play bad. It's something, like, I've seen some mistakes in practice just to go through it and I've seen it. But I've seen, you know, it just came back and beat us up. But we're going to have a, we're going to learn from the stakes uh, next year. We'll be back next year. All right, Chris, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. We're going to get some final thoughts. Players, just kind of take a breath. And I'm going to let you each make a comment about the game and about your coach. And, Coach, you'll have the final word. Um, all I want to say about right, this was a real enjoyable game season. Thank you, Coach. I really do love you. And this experience is, is big. It's a big part because you know all the memories and the journey that this took. You know, uh, speaking on the the other classes that came through. You know, they helped us build to where we are today. You know, and this is just like the pain, like coming out second, is not something that I want to experience again. And next year, I'm gonna make sure that we go first. Thank you. See y'all next year. That's all I have. Coach, I love you. Appreciate it. See you again next year. We're going to see all of y'all again next year. That's it. Uh, I kind of like the way Diesel put it. Let's uh, stick with that. Y'all know I love you. If you're not, uh, if you don't know by now, I guess you will never know. But uh, 
yeah, we'll, uh, you know, there'll be, we'll feel like I'm sure there's some unfinished business. Um, but, uh, you know, congratulations to Opelousas. They did a great job. Uh, and that's all I got. Thanks. Thank you, Colonel. Appreciate it.